Alright boys, 12 each, gray squirrel, real young squirrel legs. That goes in with the last patch I've got fixed up for my buddy. I gotta wash them one more time and look them good with a good light, which is what I do. You know, I just come out of this country store down here, you know, and uh, of course I'm wearing my camo, you know, and this old boy asked me if I killed any deer. I said, well, I've been doing a little squirrel hunting. And he said he'd been seeing some squirrels. He said, well, how many of you killed? And I told him, 440. His eyes got about as big as saucers, and it's like he didn't believe me. I said, well, you can go watch. I think I've got about all but about five of them on video. You can go watch them on YouTube. You see, there's all kinds of people out there. Wonder if I would have signed up on Rimfire Central yesterday or this morning and would have come in there and said, Well, boys, I've killed 440 squirrels since August the 24th of this year. 438 of them with HM2, 17 caliber, two of them with an air rifle. What would most people think? They'd probably think old sharpshooter was full of shit, huh? Well, guess what? You get to go watch these squirrels being shot on video. The date, the time, and the year. And there's pictures over there on Rimfire Central to go along with those videos. Talk's cheap, ain't it? I'm showing you the real deal, boys. It ain't easy to do either. I'm 62 years old, going on 63. I'm 62 and a half. Packing that rifle around. Trying to shoot the heads on most squirrels. Not all. Most. High, high percentage. You know? Yeah, there's been a few people out there, you know, they... Calling what I've been posting into question. Well, you know what they can do, right? There'll be more videos coming over there on the Rimfire Central Forum. You know, I pay to be on that forum. I think it's good money spent, to be honest with you. I love to share things. I put a lot of good information in that thread. And I'm trying to back it up with quarry harvested. Showing you the shots. I do do some slow motions on some, but not all. I think when they're sort of apparent, you know, I don't do them. I don't want the video to get too long, you know, because there's, like I said, I try to do a video every time I go hunting. We'll try to go again this evening, see if we can't finish out our bag limit after review of the video this morning. I'm going to start taking my cell phone with me now. I didn't even look for that third squirrel shot this morning. I didn't even look on the right tree. And I'll take that cell phone with me. I could put this old iPad I've got that I don't use. I could put it in my bag. It'll give me a better picture, a bigger picture, you know. I'll probably take the cell phone. And I get in a situation like that, I can look at it and make sure I'm thinking right. And I may do a little narrating in my camera, but you won't see that. That'll just be for my purposes to find a squirrel. See, I can always delete that and not show that clip to you all. I like that trigger cam. It does add weight to the rifle, though. But I do like it. Only problem I've got with it, and when that battery in that damn thing goes kaput, then what? I don't know what I could do with it. Send it back to South Africa and let them put a new battery in it? I don't know. I don't even know if you can take that thing apart or not. I've got another Element Nexus scope coming. Should be here this week. I like those scopes. Now... I'm going to say this in this video. You never know who's going to see my videos. It could be a scope manufacturer. 
could see my videos. Now, most of these squirrels you've seen shot, actually, they're all shot with a first focal plane scope. Notice that element next to scope. Any scope maker out there paying attention? Now, I know Leopold makes one. It's called a fire dot. If a scope manufacturer could put a scope together with a crosshair that looks a lot like that one in that Nexus, but only have the cross illuminated where you can vary it. Not the whole rectangle, just the cross. Good quality scope like that might seal. Because that's that's a humdinger, that little lit cross at the center of that. See, those other, those Generation 2 Nexuses, they don't do that. The whole reticle lights up. That's bullshit. I don't like that. You'll get blinded by one of those in damn dark, you know, darker conditions in the woods. And it's distracting. That lit cross in there gets you on that squirrel. Well, that's going to conclude the video. Hope everybody has a nice day.